today's toy spot we are having a look at the new mezco toys mortal kombat 10 scorpion these new figures have released in stores and are recommended for ages 17 and up uh, so far the lines only consist of raiden scorpion and sub-zero but i hope that mezco toys sees huge potential with this line and continue to release other figures I'm not sure how it's going to work for properties mind you in licensing but i'd love to see them also throw in some of the unlockable or the downloadable secret characters for this line like maybe the jason Voorhees, the predator those would be really cool again licensing could be a little more problematic Spin around the back of the packaging, that's what Scorpion's going to look like. He comes with his swords, chains with spearhead, and alternate hands. A brief read-up says, Hanzo Hasashi, now known as Scorpion, is a resurrected ninja hellspawned specter. Uh, inexorably seeking vengeance against those responsible for the destruction of his clan and the death of his own family. Uh, you can check out more from the folks over at Mezco Toys at going www.mezcotoys, that's Mezco with a Z, toys with a Z.com. That being said, Spot is going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Mortal Kombat X Scorpion. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. With Scorpion out of packaging, the first thing you'll want to do is you'll notice that his face seems a little shiny. Well, that's actually because he comes with a cover. I'm not sure why that cover was there. I guess just to prevent the mask from coming off, because as you can see, the mask does come off. But we're just going to remove the plastic. And there you have Scorpion with his human face. And then this little mouth guard just clamps over top. It seems to do a pretty good job of staying in place. I don't feel, unless you really bump it, I don't feel like it comes off all that easily. Uh, I would never display Scorpion. I personally think it's sacrilegious. I would never display Scorpion without his mouth plate, but it's nice that they gave you the option that you could do that if you, if you so wish. Uh, I'm really impressed, actually, and as quickly as I said that the mouth guard isn't going to come off, it may. I might actually just ultimately glue it on doesn't bother me again I can't take that off it uh, it throws me for a loop that this is Mezco I don't know I'm just looking at the high quality of this piece it seems just like such a high-end piece that is almost not I don't want to say it's almost not Mezco property like the way Mezco designs their toys but it does feel that way like this feels like something that would be maybe on par with some of the new Funko high premium figures, or even like on par with uh, like even NECA. Maybe even like McFarlane toys. NECA's got a very distinct look to it. Maybe something I would see from uh, from like McFarlane toys. Figure's good though, it's small. It doesn't seem like it's a standard regular height figure. I feel like he's a little too short, but again, he's gonna fit in perfectly with the other figures from the Mortal Kombat line. Uh, let's go through weapons. Weapons, he has two swords. And actually the swords are duplicate to one another. They're the exact same bladed weapon. Uh, sadly, by the way, oh, sadly, by the way, Scorpion doesn't come with any sort of display stand, which is a perfect segue as to why he just fell over. But he does come with two swords. Again, not something I'm going to ever display him with. So, uh, you know, again, you can... Not really a section that looks like he can pl place his sword, unless I'm missing something. I potentially could be, unless you just slide them, maybe just slide them through there. Again, it's, I appreciate that they included swords as much as I appreciate that they included the removable mouth guard. But for me, swords I would never display Scorpion with, and nor would I ever display him without his guard. And now I now that I have jinxed to myself by saying this, his mouth guard does look like it's coming off a lot. The other thing that he comes included with are two open palms. Uh, you can take his hands and just pop them off very easily. Also, I might add, pop the new hand in, and you've got Scorpion with an open palm. That kind of almost seems like another segue. Yes, because in fact, he does also come with his chain projectiles. And they also look like they are duplicates to one another. You just get two of them. Nice metallic silver also on them. But in order to add them to his hands, what you need to do is you have to take the hand back off. And you have to take the 
take the peg, as you can see right there, slide it through the, the loop here. And it's not, it's not the easiest, mind you, to get through first, and then after that it seems a little easier. Take the hand, and then the hand has to clip back into place to hold the chain. It's a, it's a pretty successful uh, way to have the, you know, the chain coming out of his hand simply, you know, by hiding it into the, uh, into the sleeve. Versus, initially, I thought it was going to be something I just pegged into his hand, which could have also worked too. But this gives you a better, I think, more successful uh, end up approach. You can do dueling, certainly, if you want as well. I don't know, I always think, and maybe this is the old guy in me, I always kind of think mouth guard on, sub, on scorpion here and single chain. I don't factor in swords, I don't factor in like dueling these. I might even just ultimately display him like this, just display him with one single chain, get over here, and have him you know, fighting against whoever I currently, whatever poor horse in unsuspecting person I have him pitted against. So that looks really cool. I love that. That looks awesome. And again, you can do it with both hands because he's got two, you know, open palms, but you know, it's to each his own. You know, you can display him really any which way that you want. Uh, when it comes to his articulation, he actually has quite a bit. And again, this is I'm not I, not picking apart Mezco by any stretch of the imagination, but like even like looking at Let's say they're breaking bad property. Their breaking bad property was very limited in articulation. That to see this much articulation on the Mortal Kombat figures, I'm impressed. I really am. I really am impressed. Uh, for your articulation, his head is on a, a ball joint. But like, look where the ball joint sits. It's not sitting at the top of his head where it would normally sit. Instead, they've put it in a crevice into the cavity of his torso. Very smart place to put that uh, put that ball joint. So as you can see, it does move very easily, and you get a lot of possibilities for posing him. Shoulders are also on a ball hinge, well, not more so a pin hinge socket, a little hinged socket arm, and it rotates all the way around. His tunic or his um, vest, whatever you want to call it, is like a rubbery plastic. So at least his arm doesn't isn't restricted by it. You can move it all the way around. He has a swivel point and hinge in the elbow, and also a swivel uh, and hinge in the hand. Uh, he has a ball joint in the upper torso, and legs are also ball jointed. Knees are jointed as well, a hinge joint in the, in the knee area there. And finally, he has a hinge in the foot. The foot actually is, is a remarkable feat. It hinges, but it hinges if you can see, it hinges as a ball joint. It's not a not just a, a single hinge. It's a ball. It's like a ball joint. So you can you can really angle the feet in certain ways that you know lends itself to some pretty good ways of of displaying him. And you can display him a little bit probably better than what I've just done, but you can display him quite impressively. Uh, a great looking figure. A great impressive figure. And again, not nitpicking. Mezco. I, I really am not nitpicking as Mezco, but uh, you know, certain certain toy companies are known for doing things a certain way, and I find that uh, like Mezco, I wish they could have done a better property with the Breaking Bad. Like I just wish that they were more posable, but as unposable as the uh, the Breaking Bad figures were, uh, Mezco has really really upped their game with their Mortal Kombat stuff. Like it's, it's got me super interested. And I mean, Mortal Kombat figures we've seen a lot in the past. There's a lot of companies that have tackled Mortal Kombat figures. This could be one of the better ones. This could be the, the definitive. And let's hope they continue to re release more of these. This could be the definitive Mortal Kombat line. A little bit smaller in scale, yes, but super poseable, super detailed, super painted. Overall, a great figure. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Mezco Toys Mortal Kombat X Scorpion. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Mortal Kombat reviews as we have a look at Raiden and we have a look at Scorpion, or Sub-Zero. Those reviews will be heading right around the corner. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Get over here!